Yes, uh, next to last practice anyway. Got the screen. Got the spring game tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Hopefully our our guys will play well. Uh, had the last scrimmage yesterday. Guys competed very hard. Thought it was a very physical scrimmage. Uh, thought both sides had their moments in what they did. Uh, whether you know running, throwing, whatever, goal line situations, all that. So a much more efficient scrimmage than the first one, in my opinion. And I guess get young guys knowing what to do, being able to take a signal on the field, get it with where the coaches aren't out there telling you what to do all the time from that standpoint. But still a long way to go. But from a from a toughness standpoint, a competitive standpoint, and a physical standpoint, I thought it, I thought it went really well. And now we just got to you know hone the things up we're going to do and get through the summer and get ready for fall camp. But you know, excited for tomorrow's scrimmage, actually. See. What do you want to see tomorrow night? Same thing. Guys, I mean, you know, you can function without the coach sitting there telling you what to do all the time. You can get in now the huddle. You can get to the line of scrimmage. You can make your checks. You can get your calls and, and be able to function and play with some consistency. Again, play with great competitiveness and physicalness and physicality, but, be, you know, be able to be consistent. Now, I mean, both sides make plays when the other side is doing it right, not have, you know, have busted assignments and things of that nature and be able to think in front of a crowd and perform. Probably not ideal, but any benefits to playing on the Friday night under the lights? Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll, you know, Next year, I guess we'll open up the first game like that, you know, on Thursday night like that. But, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, you, you wanted to do it Saturday. We hate to change it, didn't want to change it. But, you know, the weather's going to dictate and there's a chance you would never going to get to do it at all, you know. So we had to go that way. So hopefully, hopefully there'll be some benefit from it. Who are the two captains? Uh, they'll pick them tonight, who will go out and pick tonight, and then how they uh, how they go through it, yes. Yeah, well, they picked their team this afternoon. We had to pick, usually we was going to pick it tonight, but we had to pick it this afternoon. So uh, hopefully, have they released a list yet? I uh, a... just finished. Coach Elko made a couple of changes, so I'll, I'll get that. Okay, released we'll just make them get a change to what we got. Interesting. I mean, I thought Blumrick had his, his moments. The two young guys, you can see them get more and more consistent. And like I say, sometimes the results weren't there, but the process was there. And sometimes it was results early for the wrong reasons, which – doesn't work either. You know, I, I see them really understanding why things are starting to be done and really grasping how you protect, how you run check, how you do those things. So I was very pleased with the two young guys, and I thought Brunwick had a good solid spring. It seemed like the uh, defensive lineman maybe had the, the, the best spring. They had good springs. They had good springs. But I'm going to say this, and, and I, I thought inside, Matabuke had a good one. Clemens getting him back. Bobby inside, PB inside. Uh, Diallo, I mean, all the the young guys, Hunter, and he didn't get to see Liao because of that. But, you know, Ty did a great job on the other side. I thought he moved well. Uh, Max Wright, I mean, those guys all did a good job. But also, but the young, the group, the, the first six to eight linemen, too, on the offense, I thought really did a great job running the football. We They they were physical. That group, that, that second half of spring, I was very happy with them, too. So I think up front in our battles, I was very, it, it got very competitive. <laughs> No, I, again, uh, I don't know if anything jumped out, but I think, you know, I think up front on the defensive front, we did a good job. Linebackers did a good job of getting the introduction of how they got to play. Uh, corners, I mean, not having miles, but I thought Renfro and some of the guys, you know, Morris, you know, there's a guy that jumped out and had a really good spring, in my opinion. Some of the safeties did a good job. Uh, offensively, I thought our offensive line, the first five or seven, five to seven guys really progressed, and I thought really got better each and every day. And the things they did, the young tight ends got a lot of reps. Uh, it was a shame the skill guys were really having a good spring. I mean, one and thirteen and nine Hezekiah and and uh, Paul Paul got hurt a little bit really early. But I thought Corbin and you know and Vernon and guys were all really playing well. and They all got banged up or just just pulls and things that it, 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 it I hated it because it stopped our development with the timing and the rhythm and, and the the little intricacies of, of what goes on. But then then the, those young guys after a week or so of you know, fighting through that, you know, you started to see them improve. And then the scrimmage last night, you saw them do it. So, you know, from that standpoint, it was good. All those guys are going to be coming out tomorrow. Most of them, yeah. They're, they're, I mean, they're just not quite ready. And they, they would re-pull or do something. They're, they're right on the edge of being, them as being healthy, so, but not be able to release. Was it a lot different than the first spring drills here? I know as far as expect, their expectations about how we do things, yes. Because the other group just didn't know they didn't know. You know what I mean? As far as how we wanted things done. Uh, I thought we were, uh, the physicality of it, uh, the competitiveness of it, you know, I think they got it from the get-go, you know what I'm saying, which was much easier. And, uh, but, you know, again, the other thing that, that I hated, we had some, some of the skill guys get hurt. It's not from anything they did wrong. You know, just got nicked and wish we could have kept them in there because I thought we were really making good progress. And I think it really helps your defense, too, when you're going against a lot of high and, – and your reps because when you get so many wideouts hurt, you can't rep as many guys. So I think it even like, you're, you know, you get three or four quarterbacks, they can't get quite as many reps with, with guys because you don't have the bodies. You know what I'm saying? So I think some of their development, I think – it, it, I don't say it didn't stop. It hindered it more than I would like. 
We're good.